I just had a terrible thought. What if this is all a dream? During the bulk of Total Recall, Quaid acts as if he believes fully that he is on Mars, but does he truly know who he is? Loosely based on the 1966 Philip K. Dick short story, we can remember it for you wholesale. Verhoeven's film tells the story of a construction worker who suddenly finds himself involved with an espionage on Mars, and unable to determine if these experiences are real or the result of memory implants. Arnold Schwarzenegger plays the titular role of Quaid, a man who seeks the answers to the truth behind whether or not he is really on Mars. Because Quaid has every reason to believe that he is on Mars, despite the abundance of signs that cause him to doubt this. The possibility that Quaid is dreaming throughout Total Recall is a concept that could determine whether or not he knows he is on Mars. To suppose that everything is real appears to be a problematic thought for the audience, given that early on in the film, Bob McLean at Recall expresses to Quaid, you get the girl, kill the bad guys, and save the entire planet. You are a top operative, back under deep cover on your most important mission. People are trying to kill you left and right. You meet this beautiful, exotic woman. Come on. I don't want to spoil it for you, Doug, but you rest assured by the time the trip is over, you get the girl, kill the bad guys, and save the entire planet. Now you tell me, isn't that worth a measly 300 credits? These are the events that Quaid will go on to complete when he goes to Mars. Given this, Quaid and the audience have reason to question the legitimacy of Total Recall. And although Quaid may sense that he's on Mars, the vast number of incidents he faces seem to cause uncertainty for him. Quaid must trust his belief in the fictional world of Total Recall, but he can't really know if they are true in a tangible sense. Despite this, there are a number of reasons why Quaid should believe that he is on Mars. And one reason for this is Melina. Unlike Quaid, Melina never questions her existence. She knows she is on Mars, and she knows her feelings and motives. Contrasting Quaid, Melina has no reason to doubt herself. Melina believes she is on Mars, and therefore she has no reason to believe otherwise. To understand this point further, we must look at theory to support this. Fred Dretzka's Test for Knowledge proposes that if the proposition were false, would you still believe it? In Dretzka's knowledge, if something exists as a neutral and has a mind that is independent of the natural world, then it can be quantified. In the case of Total Recall, Quaid, for the majority of the film, believes well and truly that he is on Mars. And although throughout the film he does question the idea, he always reverts back to his initial belief. Quaid would not believe that he was on Mars if he wasn't. For instance, Quaid believes that he is on Mars so he's on Mars. If he wasn't on Mars, he wouldn't think he was. So he should know that he's on Mars. So according to Dretzka, it seems plausible that Quaid should believe he is on Mars. Unlike Melina, who can easily determine her own knowledge, Quaid has full reason to question the fact that he is on Mars and that he's experiencing a schizoid embolism. Quaid does feel inapprehensible when these situations occur, but the audience has reason to believe that this is not the case at all. Toto Recall is a film in which the narrative is told through a third-person perspective. If we were viewing through Quaid's eyes, every single scene would be through his first-person point of view. Instead, we witness scenes involving other characters and situations in which Quaid has no part in. This completely rules out the dream argument and perspective as Quaid if he were a dreamer, would be the viewpoint for every single scene. So by using this argument, we can determine that there is no dreamer in the world of Total Recall, because there is no perspective. And this must signify that the world of Total Recall and the universe it exists in is not a simulation. It is real and tangible. So Quaid is a real secret agent. He genuinely is in love with Melina, and he is truly the one saving Mars. So although in the film Quaid may have been given reasons to believe that he isn't on Mars, we the audience recognise that Quaid can know he truly is there. Whether it be the film's third person approach, or the application of Total Recall and Dreitsky's test of knowledge, 
the argument for Quaid being on Mars is a convincing one, and may finally answer one of the film's greatest philosophical debates.